so Prue and I both slept in <laughs> and we're now leaving to go to the Ingrid Masterclass. It is 13 minutes past seven and we had plans to leave at 6.30. Yep, and I woke up at oh, I think 18 minutes past six. And I woke up at 6.20. Yeah, because I text Prue and went, oh my God, I slept in. And she said, <laughs> Me too. Yeah, so anyway, luckily we left tons and tons of time to get there, and so we don't have to be there till nine. Um, and I just thought, well, we'll just leave really early in case there's any traffic. Yeah. So anyway, we've got heaps of time to get there. We've got to get some fuel, so um, I'm going to do that. And really looking forward to it. The weather is wet. Wet. So we're on the lawn. I think we're the only class that's not in the indoor, of course. Um, <laughs> but anyway, we we have studs and. So the plan is get there, our sh show starts at 10, um, and we're going to plat and juice Zazi, make sure my gear is um, immaculate, and uh, then we're going to take advantage of watching all of the lessons. Yes. So anyway, uh, stay tuned. We can't film the actual footage because the company Dressage Masterclass, shout out to Dressage Masterclass, yeah. they are putting out um, um, a film of it, some footage of it, so we'll do some behind the scenes and I've also forgotten the selfie stick so I'm going to have to hang on to it with my hand or balance the phone on the side of the tables or something. something. We can do these things. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, okay, um, better go concentrate on the driving and we'll see you when we get there. So here we are in the stables, oh, I'm not doing a very good job being in the room, <laughs> of uh, Werribee, we're in the old stable block and Prue has uh, offered to plat the czar because, you know, one horse, two people, we're fighting over jobs. So we have, un hi Ed, Hello. we have unpacked everything and here is Stacey Halstead's beautiful mare Tina and she is ready to go in the second lesson. Yes. First, yep, yeah. awesome, excellent, All right. So, the stable block, the old stable block at Werribee is actually pretty beautiful. And here's Zazie's stuff, we're all set up to go. All the bits and pieces. And it's a beautiful day. It's um, Melbourne at its finest. Nice. Anyway, I should go and do something marginally useful. Do you want me to hold it? Yeah, she's like yes, waving her head around like a kite. Okay, Zazie. She's embracing her inner kite. Exactly. So these stables, like they can see out, we've given her a door guard because they do get a little bit anxious sometimes Maybe. because they can't see between each other. As you can see, there's a concrete divide and they can sort of see out the back, but they do like to catch up with each other and feel like there's other horses around. And we've got this awesome bedding from Horsemate that's been sponsored for all of the horses in the masterclass, which is good, Zazie. I know, it's all very new. No, no, this is true. It's new for today. And she has been out. You did. You went to Shepherd and Show jumping on the weekend, so it's not like you haven't been out. Anything. She said, I feel the occasion. Yeah, there's a lot, large atmosphere. A lot of. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of occasioning. Yeah, they all feel the occasion. Anyway, we will. I might actually go and video oh, after we've done this a little bit of the cross country course just so we can have a look at it. I don't think we get to walk it, but um, I think we go through the lines. And we're on them, so um, we'll go and have just a quick sneak peek from the side of the arena in a minute. So the organiser Mel has suggested that we do a course walk, even though Ingrid will take us through the track. So I'm just going to run us through this quickly. We can't film any of it because they're going to do the film um, and make an official one. So I thought I'd better show you all the fences. So fence one, fairly straightforward. Um, I don't know what you call that, flower bed without any flowers. And then looking for fence two. Here we go, twos and opposite. These aren't very big, I'd say that's probably only a metre five. Um, fence three. Sorry, I can't show you how these are actually going to look when they're ready to go, but we all get the idea. I always think it is kind of tricky doing a mixture 
of cross country and show jumping. Um, if there were a lot of competitions like this, I'm not sure that it's that great, in my opinion anyway, for the horses because I think I like them to know when we're show jumping, we're show jumping. And when we're doing cross country, we're doing cross country. Um, I really don't love doing cross country over show jumps because I think it makes them not so careful. Okay, so for AB, our first combination off a left rein with the potential to drift to, well, to the left. So that's actually quite kind. Usually they would put the high side of the hedge to the left so that as you're coming off a left rein, you drift it to the right. That would um, make it a little hard line to stay straight and a bit more inviting to uh, run out, to walk this distance. That's two strides, maybe a little bit short, um, which is okay. It means you don't have to really gallop down a cross country distance. Uh, what are you doing? 4AB. I reckon that's C. That one that I can't focus on. Come on, technology. Here we go. So I'm going to walk that distance from here. Five, a little bit of a bow, nothing too wide, so you're coming from yonder two hedges. Okay, so there's four A, B, C, five, there's five, there we go, there. Okay, so four, five, tree. So go round yonder tree, round 11, round the finish flag. I attempt to pick this up. Okay, round to five. Kind of interesting because when they use the trees in this Bruno lawn, you can go a little slower but turn inside the trees, which is possibly going to be tighter anyway. And the fences are not very big, but it just really depends on the purpose of the competition, which is probably to flow a little bit more. So we had a two and a five down to there, and then we're going to go five to six A and focus. And six B is there. That's a skinny hedge. So I will walk this distance, but bearing in mind I'm going to want to jump six A straight because I've got to turn left. If I went straight from here and angled it, it would put me right off line for B. So I'm going to have to walk um, sort of a dog leg line. So that walks eight. Usually, I think on a turn, um, if it's an eight, potentially you can do a nine, depending on how well your horse keeps a stride length on the turn. Um, and whether I turn, if I turned tight to five A or five, then I would probably not land really rolling and would possibly get nine. But the idea here will be just to roll down there in a smooth eight and then it's an open fence so you want to jump it on a more open stride but depends also on this distance so we're heading over there but <laughs> in jumping outdoors in the rain. You can tell me what it is so I don't get wet feet. Oh. Do you have gumboots in New South Wales? Yeah. yeah oh no you do because you have floods don't you? Yeah, yeah we, had, we had half a metre of rain last week. Oh my goodness me. Okay righty ho. Um, well so far we've got one is the flower bed with tan bark and no flowers. And right here, so two is the, the low option. Got 
are we up to? Five, six, A, B. Now we're looking for seven. Seven over here. The good thing about this is that because it is a short turning track, it's not like cross country where you get a full gallop. So to me, this is going to be better for the horses to have show jumps in here because they're not going to be too flat. One, two, one, two, three, two. One stride and a nice one stride. So a vertical will be an oxer. Then we're looking for eight. Um, eight. Oh, okay. Eight is five. Ah, so eight to nine eight B is five. No, four. Sorry, four A B C backwards. So you can see the little cream number here. So strategically placed with trees that so you can't really cut inside. I mean, you could. So five, which is good in both ways. Hmm. What are we up to? Nine A B C. So ten. 10A, 10B, and 11 will be that last show jump over there because that's where the finish flags are. Oh, okay, catching spider webs in my hands. Ooh. Okay, one, two, three, four, two, two. Good. I like it when they're like all on the same distance. Oh, spider web. So we've got two lines of five strides. One of those lines, which is the corner to the double hedges, you do in both directions. Finish on a show jump. Finish on a vertical, which is a very clever way to finish. And the finish legs are just through here.
choice and narrow pants saddle. Hands down, close the door, build the triangle. Good. Very mature. You say totally focus on the line super. It's tapering forward. Your eyes early enough there. And then you sink into the saddle. Sink into the saddle. Good. Have a focus. Um, short course with Ingrid and it was really really cool, it was really fun. Zazi thought it was excellent. Um, she, this one here, <laughs> quite chatty. Oh Zazi, she's going off for a hose, cold water, have fun with that yeah, fruit. Um, yeah we thought we were laughing saying that Zazi basically was like okay so what are we doing like we need to get going and do things and um, if we're not going to do things then um, I'm going to get really bored so I'm going to start my clock. Clock starts now people and if you don't hurry up then you know done we're done I'm not going to hang around. So hence I just kept it walking around a bit and kept her happy and I wanted to keep it warm so she was very very good she loves it. Look how bright her eye is how big bright her eye is. Yeah. Excellent idea. So plats are out before we go for a hose. Um, yeah, Ingrid seems to be so accepting of when the horses make mistakes that it's a learning opportunity, which I love. Um, I thought that the um, the other riders, particularly the two young riders, um, Georgia and Soph, did really, really well because it's a really big atmosphere and that's a great opportunity for them to, um, <laughs> to ride in that atmosphere. Um, yeah. That was really cool. And we got a photo at the end. I'm such, such a girl crush. Um, that was good. We were just chatting about I said, you know, the neck strap idea is fantastic. And how I use a neck strap on Zazi every time she gallops. Otherwise, she bounds around so much that it's actually quite difficult to stay in balance with her. And I end up um, with her bounding against my hand. Um, so if I've got a neck strap on her, it's much easier. Thank you for a hose.